Hello guys, or what is up? My name is Dan the Delight, and today I'm bringing you a Marco Asensio FIFA 23 World Cup Stories uh, player review. I paid 272k for him, so that is the price that I will be reviewing him based off of. Obviously, his price might have fluctuated a little bit by the time that you're watching this. Um, he's six foot tall, high medium work rates, left footed, four star skill moves, four star weak foot. That is good by me. 89 overall rated striker from Spain, and uh, plays in the Bundesliga for Real Madrid. So quite easy to link there. Um, and and the stats are really good so let's get into the uh, the actual in-game stats and then we'll get into some gameplay with him and see how the stats compare to how he plays in game so 91 pace 92 acceleration 90 sprint speed fantastic there um, 86 shooting um, 86 attack position 84 finishing 92 shot power they're the main stats for me and they are all very very nice the finishing could be a bit higher though to be honest um, 84 passing is pretty good. You don't really need that for a striker anyway. He can play right wing as well, so maybe that would be where the passing comes in. Really stand out dribbling there. Um, some very nice stats. 92 ball control, 87 composure, 88 dribbling. Really, really good. Um, nothing to write home about defensively. And his strength's a little bit low. Maybe a, a card on there to increase the physical might be the way to go for this guy because his strength is quite low. Even though he is quite a big player, um, I would have thought it would have been a bit higher. Let's get some gameplay with him. See how he plays and then back into the in-game stat. Alright, so this is one of, uh, well, this be half of one of the games that you see me play with Asensio. Um, I will play, obviously, some more games with him before giving the final verdict at the end of this gameplay here. But uh, we've got him up front in this team here. Um, so we've got him with Moriantes, which is a very good uh, duo on paper. So hopefully he will play like that. Um, not been able to get him into the game for the first 10 minutes, so I thought we will cut that bit out because uh, yeah, you don't want to see him running around doing absolutely nothing. That would kind of oof, that would oom. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. That would kind of um, go against what the point of this video is. Um, but there, or oh, Bernardo Silva almost managing to get Asensio in. He is playing camera side. I do try and do that as much as possible so that you can see him in action as much as you possibly can. Um, Terraria on the ball here and he's getting through I don't think so thank you very much um, let's see if we can we need to get the ball up to Asensio a little bit he's offside there so this will be a good chance hopefully to uh, to get the ball up a little bit Koulibaly and Silva Asensio can we get him into the game he's being blocked out a little bit there he has got the high medium work rate so he will come back a bit not quite managing to get it to him there and there he is, right, so let's see what he can do. Decent enough pass. Again, it's very crowded around the area, to be honest. Oh, we've broken out a little bit. Eh, can we get the ball to him? He's making good runs there. You can see him at the top uh, making some good runs. And there he is, He's making a good run there. Can he get the ball into the back of the net? And he does. Good goal there. That's with his weak foot as well. He is left-footed, so put that way with his right foot. That's where the four-star weak foot comes in handy. And he has a goal in his first 20 minutes of the very first game that I'm using him with. So really, really happy with that, to be honest. Um, yeah, made a very good run. He was making multiple of those. I just couldn't get the ball to him, but making multiple good runs. And then finally, it did pay off, and he did manage to put the ball in the back of the net. So that's a perfect start for Asensio here. Can we get uh, another one with him? I mean, that might be asking a little bit too much, but we'll soon see. Um, yeah, we need to get the ball up to him if we're going to get a goal, to be honest. <laughs> Acrobatic from Koulibaly there. Not entirely sure why. Um, yeah, Mendy and Major not managing to, to get the ball uh, on target there, so that's good. He's got the World Cup story, is Maggio, I think that's how you say his name. Um, not one that I wanted to try out, to be honest. He is very, very cheap, um, but he didn't really seem like he had a lot about him for me. Is Silva, can he get the ball to Asensio? Oh, they've switched places, so that's Morientes on the ball. Let's try and see his... Ah, I was going to try and test out his heading ability, see if he could get a, sh a shot on target with his head. Um, if you know anything about me, you'll know that I'm not very good at headers, so I wouldn't have expected that to go in anyway, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it would have been quite nice to have, have got a goal on, on the head. But here is Wilson. Mm, nothing here. So number 14 is Asensio for those wondering um, if you wanted to just sort of keep an eye out for him uh, specifically. Uh, but again, he has got a good goal. Oh, that's a foul ref, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Bruno B. Uh, well, Bruno Fernandez getting the uh, the free kick there. I want to try out his World Cup stories card as well. Probably will be a review for him on that very, very soon. Silva, can we get Asensio in? He is in again. Can he finish? Oh, open goal. Ah, I'm not quite managing to do it. I don't know why I chipped it there. I think I, I 
That was silly of me to be honest. I don't know why I went for the chip rather than just blast it. We're still chipping it from when the keeper came out and it didn't work out the first time. Bit of a slow uh, response there to be honest. Uh, there's Wilson, Asensio again. He is getting involved in the game. Good dribbling on display there as well. Making a decent enough pass. What can he do here? Oh nice, he's beating his man there. Oh he's turned him as well. Oh, if only that block didn't go in, that would have been a very, very nice goal there um, from Asensio. Really, really good dribbling on display. So he has got high dribbling, so I was kind of expecting that. But that's the first time we've managed to get it on display. And here he is again. Uh, maybe his low strength there, just not, um, not quite working out too well for him. Um, of course, I would like to have had higher strength on the card, which is what I was saying earlier in the in the beginning of the video, where I'd put a chemistry style on him that it would increase his strength because it is quite low for the card. Nice acrobatic attempt. Um, it is quite low on the card, and you would kind of want to increase that. Whereas the strength, I'm um, sorry, the finishing and the pace is already pretty solid anyway, so not much needs to be increased on that. Wilson, can we find a sense? Yo, he's away there. Was he onside? Oh, how's he missed that? That's a poor miss. Um, yeah, I know his finishing's not that great on the card, but I would have expected him to have managed to put that in the back of the net. Um, bit annoying that. I would have uh, would have liked that to have gone in the back of the net. I think Moriantes puts that away, to be honest. Um, but I think that is down to his, his low finishing, which is a shame, because I would have definitely liked his finishing to be higher. But here he is again, and he's done well to dribble away there. Oh, nice. What a goal that is. Just poking it in the back of the net, using his left foot there. Ah, and that's two goals in his debut for me. Can he make it a hat-trick before half-time? That would be crazy. Uh, we'll let you know if he does in the second half and in the end of this uh, this little segment here. But really, really happy so far with Asensio. His dribbling's been fantastic. There are negatives as well, which we will get into in just a moment. Oh, what a run from Morientes. Where's Asensio? Can we get the ball to him? I want to get his hat-trick, but we don't think... Oh, We've got back well there, the defender. I thought that we was going to be through on there for a, for another goal. Um, I thought it was destined to happen, but unfortunately, just not happening. But going into half time, two 0 up with that's a foul, surely. With Asensio being the guy that has scored both the goals is absolutely fantastic. So very very happy with how this is going so far. Um, hopefully it will continue. Again, I will play some more games with him before giving my final verdict on if he is worth the coins. But uh, judging by this game alone, he is uh, is proven to be a very good striker. So let's get back into the in-game stats now, and we'll see exactly how he felt in the other games. All right. So Marco Asensio, I played a few more games with him really really good let's get into the stats here so 91 pace I'm um, actually this might seem a bit crazy after saying that he was really really good but 91 just seems a bit high for me 91 is really really high and I think it felt more like an 89 88 it didn't feel ridiculously high unfortunately so I'm gonna have to decrease that slightly shooting as well uh, 86 feels about right there was occasions where I thought he could have put the ball in the back of the net but then when I'm thinking about it he did score quite a few goals he did get his hat trick in that game and um, that he was just watching there and then the guy quit so that was a bit annoying literally within five five in-game minutes of the second half. Passing felt decent. I think actually you could probably increase that to like an 85-86. If he was playing him as a right wing, he would definitely be decent for getting assists and that sort of thing. Now his dribbling was the standout and I'm going to increase it. So I would go for 91 for the dribbling. Um, so I would perhaps switch dribbling and pace round. So 89 pace, uh, 91 dribbling, I think would feel a, a lot more um, to how he actually felt. Defending I'm not going to go into because he was a striker and defending isn't really needed for a striker. And I didn't have any chances to score headers with him or anything like that. I tried to, as you saw in the clip there, but he did just wasn't in the right position. And his strength did feel low, 70 physical. Uh, I don't know if it felt that low, um, but I would maybe like you could increase it like 74, 75, which isn't going to make a big difference but 70 is very low unfortunately so I would definitely recommend putting a chemistry style on him that's going to increase his physicality and increase his shooting just because of that finishing on there you're going to want a little bit of a boost and then this card will be a super super card so about 270k is the amount that I paid for him so would I say that he is worth 270k it's hard this one is on the fence for me I'm going to say yes, just about though. If you can get him for cheaper, definitely do so. For me, 270k is the limit that I would pay for him. But he probably is worth it because he is really fun to play with. Great dribbling, four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. Um, great finishing when you can get it into a decent position. He's not going to do finesse shots for you, but he has got great shot power. Decent pace, really fun dribbling. So yeah, I'd say he probably is worth the coins. But uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's on the verge. He's not going to blow your mind away 
it's not going to be like it's worth 700k but 270k feels about right so hopefully you did like this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and there will be a link in the description down below full of fifa 23 player reviews as always guys thank you for watching bye, -bye.